On Capitol Hill, Republicans have nominated Majority, majority Leader Steve Scalise to be Speaker of the House. But the question remains, will he have the 217 votes needed on the House floor? After Kevin McCarthy was ousted last week, the House of Representatives has been without a speaker since then. And the absence of a leader prevents the chamber from conducting any business, including providing aid to Israel. ABC's Liz Landers has the latest. After several days of huddling behind closed doors, House Republicans have finally settled on a pick to be the next Speaker of the House. Majority Leader Steve Scalise, who received 113 votes, and Judiciary Chairman Jim Jordan, who was endorsed by Donald Trump, came up short with just 99. First, I want to thank my House Republican colleagues for just designating me as the Speaker. Obviously, we still have work to do. But until he wins a majority of the votes in the full House, Scalise won't become Speaker. Scalise can only afford to lose four Republican votes. And Ohio Congressman Max Miller told reporters he still won't back Scalise. And I'm still supporting Jim Jordan for Speaker. Thank you for your time. If other Republicans join Miller, that could create problems for Scalise, who needs 217 votes to be elected Speaker of the House. The lawmaker who began the process that ousted Kevin McCarthy as Speaker believed believe Scalise can hit the magic number. I'm excited for him. Can't wait to go vote for Steve Scalise. Across the aisle, Democrats left frustrated. I mean, this is just uh, chaos under the Republican mismanagement. Without a speaker, no new legislation can be introduced and no bills can be voted on. And the clock is ticking as another government shutdown deadline is looming at midnight on November 18th. Scalise says the war between Israel and Hamas is giving urgency to the need for Republicans to elect a speaker. The first order of business under Speaker Steve Scalise is going to be, bring a strong resolution expressing support for Israel. ABC News is learning that there will likely not be a vote today for Speaker of the House while Republicans regroup and make sure that Scalise has enough votes before they take that to the floor. On Capitol Hill, Liz Landers, ABC News.